Hi and welcome to another video by yours and only Paradox and today we're gonna answer the question everyone is asking How do you level when you cannot take your quest? So this is a trap most people fall in. They're so used that the quest you do get will boost your level immensely and when you get off a quest chain like how are you supposed to level like where do you get the experience from and today i'm going to show you exactly how that is done and how i'm going to take myself to uh, possibly level 396 and a half in just a few minutes so what you have to have in store is you need to be in a guild and you need to have the elixir of experience and what you do with these things is that you want to activate this one and your guild buff at the same time and while you're doing this you want to go into Mokumochi uh, Hill the daily one and you want to either enter uh, what is it called uh, LC like Christiana or Tomb of Anku because there you can push your personal score very high and get a lot of mobs because basically the elixirs are gonna boost your kills so all the kills you do get is gonna be amplified by more than 120% or 110% depending upon your kills buff level so without any further ado, I'm actually going to get into it straight away. But we have to keep in mind that these statues I'm standing next to give an immense boost of experience as well. To so start off with praising them. Oh, I'm sorry, I pressed the wrong button. Boom, I get 6% there. And boom, I already leveled up. That itself was like 12%. And now when we're done with that, we're going to take and activate the Elixir experience. We're going to go to our buffs, the guild. I pressed all the tabs, I'm a bit tired, here we go, and we activate it, and now we can see up here at our buffs that we have the EXP gain, and we have a guild EXP buff as well. With that, we go into Mokumochi Hill, and we start killing. So this area is supposed to give you tons of experience. So this is why you want to utilize these elixirs at the same place. You're basically uh, doing two runs in one by abusing this trick if you haven't done it already. So you can just imagine, if you didn't know about this, how many runs you've been missing out a great boost of experience on. Here we go. Oh, I missed the last one. Oh, I missed another one. And if you get the strategy right and how to kite them, you can actually push for the, uh, the records for clearing time. I think I have the very same uh, time as the record holder. It's always annoying when I'm not the one, but what are you gonna do? Mm, boom. Now I'm just doing this for the show, so I want to see how it ends up. There we go. Oh, I missed that last one. Come on. I'm doing this very badly today. I oh, will see the first one as a warm up anyway. We're already at 9%. And remember, I'm at Rebirth 3 here, almost maxed out. This is gonna be way bigger for you if you're only in Rebirth 1 or Rebirth 2 right now. Okay, here we go. Let's see if I can do this properly. Nope, I already missed one. So we just activate these two and go and kill this last guy. Did that mob just give me... Wow. One forty. Well, what we're gonna do about it. I really hope I can get a helmet today, because if I do get a helmet, I will have another chance to um, upgrade this current one to t5 i do have a clean t5 already but since this one is a blessed one i'm thinking that maybe i can transfer the blessed item otherwise i'll just go with a clean t5 and uh, hopefully get across a blessed one in the future 
And this is very important because I'm in, the, in a race for um, diamonds. There's a Hall of Fame a diamond event right now with the launch of servers. And I'm in top 10 and hoping to score well there. Okay, we're almost done here. Here we go. Did we get them? No, he's still standing. The music though, so calm and peaceful. But these are some fluffy animals, so I understand them why. There we go. Sweet wave, sweet wave. 22% already. And we have one more run to go after this, so it's going to be fun to see how far we could push it. Oh, we missed one. Two even. There we go. And then the final one around the corner. I really want to use bow and quiver in the late game, so I hope I get the one here. Gauntlets, really good, really good. Eventually they'll stack up and I can go for a T6. Because I do have T5, right? Yeah, I did. Okay, let's try if we can get 1 minute and 13 seconds. Okay, and then we go here. Did I miss one? Yeah, I did. Okay. I don't have uh, time for mistakes like that, so we'll just clean it. I uh, doubt that we're gonna be close the record now. You cannot fly in this location. I so rarely fly with a teleport ability. This is an account where I spent uh, a few bucks just to um, get a bit of an advantage. I really like the game, I'm gonna be in it for a while, so I decided it was just to go for it. But now when I have gotten my head start, I'll just chill down and enjoy the game. There we go. Clean them off. Die. Seeing my performance right now, I, I, I'm even baffled how I managed to get a time of 1 minute and 13 seconds at this stage. Well, I suppose sometimes you have good days. Nice, we're at 42%, did I say? Uh, 96 and a half. Now we are at 42%. And with the remaining time, you would like to go into either LC or TOA, depending on the time. So we're gonna do that right off. But then I believe it's the time for this video to end. Because we are running in at nearly 10 minutes. So I will actually end this video right now. I hope you appreciate this small trick. Remember to push your score as high as possible when you enter either LC or um, Tomb of Anku. But this has been Paradox showing you how to level effectively. If you like my videos, make sure to leave them a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you would like to see more.